Hey guys, welcome to another video at Phone Ops, and yes, we are talking about the legend Poco F1. Now, this time around, we have a ROM which transforms your Poco F1 into a Pixel 5. I would say 95% of the features are working, the Pixel 5 exclusive features are working, and it's a very, very interesting thing to see. The process to install this is a little different. We do have a video on that, you can go ahead and check that. And I have been using for some time, and it is really, really interesting to see what software can do any device if executed properly but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community join us there help us reach thousand members and have a lot of fun you can also follow us on social media like instagram twitter facebook we are active there as well last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Alright, so first things first, this is how the ROM boots with a Pixel Launcher, Google Feed to the left. So first, let's go to setting over here and let's go to system or about phone first and then if we have a look it is android version 11 the security patch is march 5th and it does come with a disrupt kernel so this particular build of the rom is very very specific about what is needed in the kernel and if you want to use a custom kernel you need to make sure that it has some specified commits so more or less everything else on this rom is working great so let's get into the detail now first of all there are a ton of pixel 5 exclusive features but before we even get there let me show you this i mean you just noticed this right how smooth how subtle the animations are how perfectly it is executed this is almost on the level of my iphone and you know you might be thinking that i'm exaggerating but i've been using the iphone 11 for the last three months and this is as close as it gets when it comes to you know the smoothness of the software be it any aspect of the rom it is smooth fluid and amazing now that we have out of the way but let's talk about the you know exclusive features we do have the google assistant 2.0 included which comes with continued conversation that means you can always almost talk to this artificial intelligence just like you would talk to a normal person it does have continued conversation so that is something really really neat now one caveat or one thing that is missing over here is that you don't have face unlock if you go to security and lock screen features because the developer of this rom wants to keep this particular rom as close as it is to the pixel 5 and pixel 5 doesn't come with face unlock but don't worry Pixel imprint, that is fingerprint, works absolutely fine. Now moving on, you do have a lot of Android 11 features like if you go to the recent menu, you do have screenshots over here which works. You can share it with a lot of applications. You can pin apps to your you know, quick share menu and you have a ton of applications here as well. Now apart from this, you do have the select option which is working like a charm. So that is another neat thing. To the left, you do have the Google feed which works butter smooth as well. Now if you keep scrolling to the left, you will get a clear all button which allows you to clear all the applications and moving on if we press and hold on the blank area if you go to home settings you do have a ton of options over here and this is the pixel launcher on the pixel rom so you know it is butter smooth all the android 11 features are there and the pixel 5 exclusive features are also there in fact the weather widget also works fine make sure you do have you know the location set to work perfectly okay and then if you press the volume button you do see that this volume panel or the sound panel looks great and if you click on see more it directly takes you to the settings in a flare as smooth as it can get now if you swipe from the top to bottom you do get the notification tiles over here a ton of options you can edit it and you can add the other additional features like focus mode bedtime mode live caption and all the other things screencast is there i haven't tested that though but if you talk about the screen recorder which is the point of interest for most of the people over here add this over here drag it all the way here now once you've added that and you select 
to enable screen record. The best part is it allows you to record both. All right, let's start the recording over here. Okay, you do have the notification here and it's working. No lags at all, even with the live wallpaper, it works absolutely fine if you tap over here and you can stop the recording. All right, once the recording is stopped, you can see the notification history over here and you can also play it back. You can see that it's recorded my audio as well. So what else do you need? A ROM that is super smooth, allows you to record internal and external audio and makes you feel that you're using a Google phone. That's the best thing, right? Now, one more thing to see over here at the top, you do have until 10, 15 AM. That means the battery will last till this particular time. Moving on, if we go to styles and wallpapers, that is the beauty. We have a lot of customization and this menu with a lot of wallpapers looks beautiful. If you go to style, you do have a lot of pre-baked themes. You can customize your theme as well. You can change the grid size and whatnot. So even when it comes to the look and customization, this works really, really well. Moving on, we will talk about safety net. Now, as you can see over here, I do have Majisk installed, although the device is not rooted. So if we click on check safety net, safety net passes by default. Even if we go to the Play Store and go to the Play Store settings over here, at the bottom, it says device is certified. But the DRM situation is bad. It does have L3 and even if it had L1, you would not be able to play Amazon Prime in HD. So that is sad, but that is not a mistake by the ROM developer or anything else. That's a mistake or a lacking from the end of Poco themselves. I recently made a lot of noise about it, but Poco is Poco and they just don't want to fix things on their own. Now, apart from this media playback, you know, live caption and everything else on YouTube works absolutely fine. There is no issue at all. Now, there is one more additional thing that I would like to share is we have an application called Google One. Now, the moment you open this application, let it load. All right, get started. You do get three month free trial of Google One includes 100 GB of storage and access to experts so you can join it for free that is what i'm talking about when we talk about additional features which are pixel 5 exclusive now moving on if we talk about the recorder that is the sound recorder it does allow to upload your recordings to the cloud once you have recorded something and you can find them at recorder.google.com and if you actually open the photos application so in Google Photos, you do have the portrait light feature that works absolutely fine as well. Now, apart from this, you do have an updated Google Fit application. So that should work really, really great on this ROM because remember, this is the Google Pixel 5 ROM. So let's go ahead and look for Google Fit over here. Okay, let's install it real quick. Now this Google Fit application does allow you to monitor your heart rate using the camera so you don't need to have a smartwatch or anything of that sort. So that is great and the Android 10 gestures of course are working smooth as butter as you can see over here. So everything you know from the Google Pixel 5 is working like a boss on this particular ROM. But let's you know dive into settings and let's have a look at what actually a Google Pixel 5 software looks like and let's complete this review while doing that. So for example if you go to network and internet you do have Wi-Fi under Wi-Fi you do have Say for example, you click on Wi-Fi, you can manually disconnect. And if you go to advanced, you have a ton of options over here, right? So that is one thing you can share the password as well. So that is neat. You do have airplane mode, all the other advanced options. Now moving on, if we go to settings again, you do have connected devices where you can see all the connected devices. You can pair it with Bluetooth and all the other things. If you go to apps and notifications, they have you know gone ahead and paid special access to permissions and special attention to screen time and other things. But as you can see, if you go to see assistant settings or you say set up Hey Google over here, next, okay, agree, okay Google, okay Google, hey Google, hey Google.
start saving audio agree lock screen personal results on headphones once you've enabled everything hey Google how is the weather today right now in Mumbai it's 28 degrees with haze tonight the forecast is around 27 and clear so as you can see you know it says unlock more additional features continue this that so it works like a charm it is very very smooth and subtle safety net passes so you won't really have any you know issues apart from playing amazon prime in hd now if we go to the battery menu over here you do have adaptive battery you have battery percentage which you can directly enable you do have the extreme battery saver and all the other advanced options from pixel 5 even if you go to sound and haptics you do have all the advanced options and most of them are working fine so if you go to display you have night light you have you have styles and wallpapers screen attention works like a charm i have enabled it just some time back if you go to colors this is something that is not there it is missing but the developer is planning to add it soon and wake screen notification show lockdown options add text on screen now playing is broken so as you can see so there are some features like very very few features which are broken but they will not stop you from using this rom as a daily driver even fast charging works great i have played pubg one or two tdm matches on it and it works absolutely like a charm it will perform like a boss and you won't have any problems the only thing i've not tested is you know recording and playing so I do plan on doing a gaming review for this. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see a dedicated gaming review on this particular ROM. So all in all, this is a very, very solid, very, very amazing ROM. It is working great for me and you can definitely use it as a daily driver. Let me know in the comment section if there are any additional features that you have noticed which are, you know, missing from this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.